Hi, today we're going to talk about the Hero Calligraphy Pen. Right, so today we're going to talk about the Hero Calligraphy Pen. You've heard about these before. I know quite a lot of the other Chinese pen manufacturers talk about this. So basically what it is, is the nib is bent. And what it means is that when you adjust your writing angle, you will create a different line. I will explain it further later. I basically bought this in a bookstore in Guangzhou, in South China. Model number of this, it's, it's a 601. This has no relevance whatsoever because there were lots of different models and all that mattered was the nib. They're like They had lots of calligraphy fountain pens and, and they all had various assorted model numbers. And I just tried one and bought the cheapest one. As you can see, it's got a gold clip and everything else. All the other furnishing is silver. Snap on uh, cap and it's, I bought one. It came with a converter, which I have filled with black swan and English roses. It, it, it's a regular cartridge converter. And as for an explanation of the nib itself, calligraphy pen and the nib looks looks like so as you can see when I use when I use the tip the tip it writes a very fine line I I write upside down if I use this end mid nib it, it's sort of medium and then if I you use a really low angle. The low angle position. What can I say about this? It's not the prettiest looking pen, but I have had oodles of fun with this nib because it sort of makes you want to try things out. I remember the first time I got it, I filled it up and then spent two to three hours just trying to write all sorts of stuff with it and, and, and drawing and after two hours I, I ran out of ink because as you can see the thickest very broad nib size um, really soaks up a lot of ink. As for what you can do with it, for everyday practical purposes this is not practical. However for sketching I think it opens up a lot of opportunities to basically have three, what amounts to three different nib widths available on one single pen. So, so for example, let's say I want something like this. You can have thick strokes, you can have thin strokes, you can have medium, medium strokes. Well then, one thing about the nib is it, it, it almost reminds me of like the edge of, of, of like a paintbrush in, in, in the way sometimes it sort of tapers off and dries off at the end. Since it's bamboo, I might as well draw a panda. And in order to make a panda fuzzy, I will need two, uh, let's say, enormous fuzzy. I need back, it's okay to be shaky here. I am of course using Tomoe River paper, which is fairly impervious to any sort of abuse I might throw at the paper. Coloring the dark spots. Pressure of things. Maybe a little 
really really fragrant. There you have it. So so you can see some of the thicker niblets, some of the thinner niblets. Uh, maybe a little bit in between, though I don't use that as much. Of course, I don't usually draw pandas, or in this case, a panda. I can possibly see, like, I would find this very useful when I'm just out and about doing street sketches, and, and sometimes maybe you want a little emphasis on an item or two, and you might want to use thicker nib width. It's all in one pen. Of course, the slight downside is you might go overboard with the broad edge and the cartridge converter is reasonably small. It, it's regular small sized ones and so you might have to watch your usage a little bit carefully but otherwise for, for like an hour or so totally viable as, as a fun pen. The Hero calligraphy pen doesn't have to be Hero I'm, I'm, I know a lot of other Chinese pen companies do it so there you go, just um, in commemoration of October 1st, the founding of the People's Republic of China, here's a Chinese point for everybody. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs>